In this segment, we're going to be talking about crash cymbals. Good crash cymbals have a full sound with a wide range of overtones. Crash cymbals come in all different sizes and thicknesses. A good general size for crash cymbals is about 18 inches. 16 inch cymbals might be a little bit more suitable for younger players like middle school players. Let's talk about a couple of care and maintenance issues with crash cymbals. Crash cymbals don't have to have a brilliant shine in a concert setting, but if you'd like to clean your cymbals, you can use a cymbal cleaner that are available from cymbal manufacturers. Be sure that you stay away from abrasive cleaners or brass polish because this can damage the instrument. The cymbal is held with a leather strap. In a concert setting, don't use a cymbal pad because this can muffle the sound. You'll want to check the leather strap pretty frequently because over time the leather can start to deteriorate and if that happens, the strap might break and there's nothing worse during a concert than a cymbal crashing on the floor. If you check and the leather strap looks like it's starting to deteriorate, then you're going to need to replace the strap. When you're replacing your cymbal strap, make sure that you use an actual leather cymbal strap. You don't want to use a rope or anything else. The leather cymbal strap will be durable and it won't buzz or create any extraneous sound while you're playing. There's a special knot that you have to use when you're tying a cymbal strap onto a cymbal. When you get a new cymbal strap, it looks like this. First thing you do is you put these four ends together. Then you're going to insert all four of these through the hole in the cymbal. The four ends, as you can see, are on the inside of the cymbal. Now, fan out the four ends so that they make a cross. Then, you're going to take one of the ends and fold it over the adjacent end. Now, work your way around and fold each one over the other until you get to the fourth. This one, you're going to loop through this hole And that's your knot. Now to tighten the knot, you're going to pull on each end one at a time while holding the center of the knot. You want to pull the knot very tight because you don't want it to come undone while you're playing. When you're finished, give it a good tug from this side to make sure that the knot is secure. If the leather strap that you're using is very thin or the knot is small and the strap is pulling through the cymbal, you might want to try tying a dime or a small washer inside of the knot. This will make the knot bigger so that the strap won't pull through.